Assalamu alaikum brothers. Today I'm talking about the Dabbah or Jassasa that accompanies the Dajjal, also called by some ulama the assistance of the Dajjal, Musa'idat al Dajjal. Of course, we can't talk about the Dabbah without talking about the Dajjal and his story, so we are going to dive deep into that. I'm gonna address some rumors and videos that surfaced online on social media claiming that these videos are of the Dabbah or Jassasa, the assistance of the Dajjal. But before we start, consider checking out our content on Patreon and check out our merch store, like the video and subscribe to the channel. Brothers and sisters, the fitna of the Dajjal is the biggest fitna ever. Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said about the Dajjal, غير الدجال أخوفني عليكم أن يخرج وأنا فيكم فأنا حديجه دونكم وإن يخرج ولست فيكم فامرؤ حديج نفسه meaning that Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم fears for us he fears for his ummah from the fitna of the Dajjal then he promised us that if the Dajjal is to appear while Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم is still alive Prophet Muhammad himself is going to fight him alone and if the Dajjal is to appear after the death of Prophet Muhammad وسلم, we will have to fight for ourselves, each on his own. There are many hadiths and narrations about the Dajjal. The ones that most people know about are the hadiths of the Jassasa, the story of Ibn Sayyad, and the one about the Samiri. One of these hadiths talks about the Jassasa, which is the subject of today's video. We can't understand the Jassasa and her role in the life of the Dajjal without understanding the Dajjal. So who is the Dajjal? There was a guy who Prophet Muhammad وسلم, knew personally. He was called Ibn Sayyad. Prophet وسلم, had doubts in his mind about this young man. The doubt increased over time. So much so that Prophet Muhammad وسلم, decided one day to bring Umar عنه, and see if this guy is the Dajjal. Prophet Muhammad وسلم, took Umar عنه, to a garden that belonged to the family of Ibn Sayyad. Prophet Muhammad met the child who at this time was 13 years old and he asked him do you testify that I'm the messenger of Allah instead of saying yes or no the boy answered with do you bear witness to the fact that I'm the messenger of Allah by the way this hadith is from Sahih Muslim hadith number 2930 chapter of Ibn Sayyad oh Muhammad do you testify that I'm the messenger of God? Prophet Muhammad said, Ya Safi, say astaghfirullah, I have hidden something for you. What is it? After thinking for a while, Ibn Sayyad said, Al-Dukh, Al-Dukh. Brothers, Ibn Sayyad was trying to say Al-Dukhan, which means smoke in Arabic. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam stopped him and said, You will not overstep your limit and left Ibn Sayyad in his place. Umar radiallahu anha asked the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam if Ibn Sayyad guessed the name right and Prophet Muhammad said the name Dukhan was hidden from him. So Prophet Muhammad was thinking about the word at Dukhan and Ibn Sayyad knew the word in the mind of Prophet Muhammad. So after hearing the story, the Sahaba of Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam were pretty sure that Ibn Sayyad was the Dajjal. Everybody was afraid, including most of the Sahaba who insisted it was the Dajjal and that Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has just encountered the Masih Dajjal. The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam never confirmed their claims because Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam knew it wasn't him. The hadith that we have just recited pretty much confirms that the Dajjal is someone other than Ibn Sayyad, which brings us to the hadith of Jassasa and the topic of Jassasa. These are some clips that have surfaced lately on TikTok, Instagram and YouTube. People claim that this little hairy creature is the Jassasa, the assistant of the Dajjal. So brothers, is this true? Are these claims correct? Let's examine the facts. But before we do, quick message to you guys. Please support the channel by checking out our upcoming series of documentaries about jinns on Patreon. These videos will be exclusive to our Patreon audience and won't be posted on YouTube. We also have a merch store. Pick an item with the design of your liking while supporting the channel. 
Brothers, the Jasasa was mentioned in the hadith of the companion of Prophet Muhammad وسلم, who came from his trip after a long voyage. The hard circumstances of the voyage led the Sahabi and his group to the island of the Dajjal and meeting the Jasasa and finally the Dajjal. The Jasasa was never seen by anybody else including Prophet Muhammad وسلم, and was never mentioned after that by any Muslim historian. And suddenly in 2023 in the age of social media people claim to have filmed the Jasasa and post questionable videos on social media claiming this is the real Jasasa. First, I should start by mentioning what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran. Meaning, in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, liars and disbelievers are all the same. Lying about the Jasasa or any matter related to the Dajjal and claiming that you have filmed the Jasasa just to garnish fame on social media is a great sin. Now, let's examine the facts and see if these videos are legit. After a lot of research, I found out that these videos have first surfaced on the Pakistani side of YouTube and then when they hit the Arab and Turkish sites of YouTube, they went viral. Same on Facebook and TikTok. It's it's hard to find out who posted the videos first and on which platform. The videos usually feature a small hairy creature running away and running in circles or dancing. The videos are usually low quality which is a red flag. Brothers imagine this, if you truly believe this is the assistance of the Dajjal, the Jasasa, you would be terrified and not even take the video in the first place fearing that the Dajjal is near. And even if your Iman is strong, why would you not provide a high quality footage? Forgive me brothers for jumping straight to the footage and not explaining more about the Jasasa. The Jasasa was mentioned in the hadith told by Prophet Muhammad وسلم, about Tamim al-Dari, a companion of the Prophet. The hadith is very long so we are going to take parts from it. Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said, Tamim al-Dari told me something which agrees with what I was telling you about the Dajjal. He told me that he sailed in a ship with 30 men of Lacham and Judam and they were tossed by the waves of the sea for a month. Then Prophet Muhammad وسلم, will explain how they landed in the island of the Dajjal. And then Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said they were met by a beast with a great deal of hair and they could not distinguish his face from his back because he was so hairy. They said, Woe to you, what are you? It said, I am Al Jasasa. They said, What is Al Jasasa? It said, O oh people, go to this man in the monastery for he keen to know about you. After this, Tamim al-Dari and his group will meet the Dajjal. Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said that Tamim al-Dari said, Then we set off rushing until we came to the monastery where we found the hugest man we had ever seen, bound strongly in chains with his hands tied to his neck and his legs bound from the knees to the ankles with iron shackles. We said, Woe to you, who are you? He said, You will soon find out about me. Tell me who you are. They said, We are people from Arabia, etc, etc. The hadith is long and it's not the point of this video. In short, the Dajjal will ask them about a plethora of signs. These signs are the signs of the Dajjal. If you want, dear brothers, I can make a video about the signs of the coming of the Dajjal. If you guys are interested, let me know in the comment section below. So, the description of the Jasasa by Tamim al-Dari provided to us by Prophet Muhammad وسلم, matches the footage that surfaced online about the Jasasa. Still, this is not proof that this footage is real. The footage is most likely fabricated, although it seems hard to do. But there are people out there who possess the time and technical knowledge to fabricate such videos and then render them in low quality to fool the audience into thinking that the video is real. By rendering in low quality, you make it harder for the viewer to distinguish between a real and fake footage. 
Wallahu alam. Another proof that the footage is not the footage of the true or the real Jassasa is the fact that the video first surfaced on the Pakistani side of the internet and then went viral in places like Turkey and most Arab countries. The Jassasa is supposed to be trapped with the Dajjal and his island and not in the mountains of Pakistan or another Islamic Asian country. These claims are contradicting everything Prophet Muhammad وسلم, told us about the coming of the Dajjal and its signs. The contradiction here is that if the Jassasa is truly free, the Dajjal should be free alongside it, which is not the case because if that was the case, everybody would be talking about it and the world would have noticed already. Brothers, if you think I'm jumping to conclusions quickly, please let me know in the comment section below. But I don't think this is the real Jassasa and I'm gonna assume the footage is fake. Again, if you disagree with me, let me know in the comment section. Allahumma najina min fitnatil masih dajjal Protect us, O oh Allah, from the fitna of the Dajjal. Brothers, before I finish this video, consider supporting us on Patreon and support the production of our Jinn series exclusive to Patreon. Grab an item from Deep Into Islam's merch store and support the channel that way. Like and subscribe of course and activate the bell icon to watch the video before everyone else. Assalamu alaikum.